Okay, and here we are. We are in Ramman mode, as you can tell by the distinctive prompt down here. Don't you just love when an academic exercise becomes a practical exercise? We can see during his boot process that it could not open Flash. It couldn't find the first file on the device Flash. That's because there's no iOS image in there. Uh, let's go ahead and play with some Ramman. You can issue the question mark and it will give you the commands that are available in Ramon. As you can see, it's, it's a subset of the commands that are available in the full blown iOS. Because what Ramon basically is, is it's a bootloader. It's just a really stripped down version of the iOS. The other interesting thing is every time you issue a command in Ramon, this prompt number here increments by one. So we can see that Xmodem is available here. So we're going to go ahead and type X modem. And we can see that the question mark does not work with X modem. So in this case, you do want to have your documentation handy. And do you remember how we set certain parameters here? Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to use the uh, hyphen S to set the speed because we don't want to do this at 9600 baud. And then we're going to also indicate what our file name is going to be. So I do not wish to continue. And it aborted. Okay, so let's set our speed. Mother fudge rucker. Okay, this is gonna be absolutely fucking painful. Ah, uh, so it's not supported here, so we're stuck with 9600 baud. So let's just go ahead and do our X modem, and uh, I will specify the file. I don't have a copy of that 12.2. There you go. Do not start the sending program yet. Device does not contain a magic valid magic number. Cannot open device flash. All existing data in boot flash will be lost. Invoke this application only for disaster recovery. Yes. Okay, so then I have to go back up and set my transfer to my send X modem. And I'm going to go to that iOS images folder. Go ahead and now we are starting the X modem transfer. Let me see if this guy will give you an ETA. Yeah, you can see the ETA here. Three hours and 40 minutes. This follows the same uh, arc that my X modem at 9600 baud did when I tested it out before. It's going to take about three hours. So I am quite obviously going to pause. No, fuck you guys. I'm going to make you guys sit here for three hours and watch this. I'll go ahead and pause this, and I will be back in about <laughs> two hours and 46 minutes, I guess. Okay, so I'm back, and if we look up here, uh, we can see... Here's where we issued the command to start the X modem transfer. Here's where the transfer started. And we can see that it took 2 hours and 39 minutes and 23 or 24 seconds, whichever one of these outputs you want to go with. Uh, no errors. So then it looks like the device went ahead and erased the flash, uh, completed the download, and it looks like it initialized. It started a reboot here. I didn't do any of this, so as soon as it had transferred the image over, it started this process, and it basically reloaded the device. And I think we're in good shape here because I don't see the ROM mom prompt. Let me hit enter, and there we go. So now if we do a show version, hmm, we have some interesting output. Um, obviously, I didn't come back right when this happened. It's been up for almost two hours. Return to ROM by reload. Running default software. And I don't see the VERS, the system image in there. Let me do a show flash. And there we go. So what I'm going to do here is I am actually, let me see if this has a, some platforms have a show boot. This one doesn't. Some platforms you can do a show boot and it'll show what the uh, the system parameters are, uh, specifically what iOS it's going to load. Uh, sometimes it's show boot var. I think that's for boot variable. Anywho, obviously this one doesn't have it, so let's go ahead. I'm a little concerned about the fact that it's saying running default software and I don't see the system image in there. I do see that the uh, image has been passed over to the flash, so we're good to go. Let me reload. I'm going to pause here and come back in just a second. Okay, so reload is complete. Now let's see what happens. There we go. That's more what I was looking for. Now I can see that the system image file is the image that we moved over in Ramon via the X modem, and flash should be still there. Let's see if we can now squeeze our flash. Squeeze. No. <laughs> okay. Well, whatever. I don't have anything to squeeze on there, but anyways, that's going to wrap it up for today. Uh, we went through using X modem to transfer file in both the normal iOS mode 
and then uh, in Raman mode. So thanks for joining me in the Packet Lab today for an extended edition uh, with some real-world implications. As always, I hope this is beneficial, and I hope to see you again soon. Thank you.